Yo, what is up YouTube? So today I'm making a quick video on how to sell your music online. Um, you could do this as singles or licensing your music or streaming your music. You could kind of do it all with all of these um, sites and they all kind of do little different things. So I'm gonna quickly explain them and what they do and what you would want to use it for. So first one is TuneCore. I'm pretty sure everyone knows about them. They're pretty popular. Um, as it says right here, the best way to sell your music on iTunes, Amazon, Spotify, and more. This is kind of like the um, mainstream or corporate or the, the top gun, I guess, uh, in this type of area. So if you want to be with someone trusted, look at, look at they paid over $962 million out to their all their artists that they you know sell their music. So if you want to be with one that's well-known and actually known for doing this and trusted to encourage your thing you just sell your music and then it will get into all those online stores now the new one is record union they're like basically what TuneCore does but just a little smaller company and they could do pretty much the same exact stuff as far as i know pricing i think is better on here because this is why i used record union i used TuneCore a long time ago but I used Record Union when getting my stuff on to Spotify and stuff. It, it was pretty easy to get it on there. So this is what I used right here. Uh, again, they're trusted. They're not as well known, but they're reliable. You know, you're going to get what you need to do done with this. So I definitely suggest using Record Union. Although, again, TuneCore is the big guy. So Bandcamp is kind of like selling your music through all the stores and stuff, but you're creating your own store. So you're not really putting it in iTunes and stuff, but rather making your own store to sell your music. And you could do it for free. You could have them pay what they want, or you could simply have them put your email their emails in to get the free downloads. So that's why I like Bandcamp. If you really want to run things yourself and have it all self-built, Bandcamp is one of those things where you can build your own store and sell the music yourself to your fans. Next is Gumroad. I use this for like products and stuff, but you could easily sell music, podcasts, anything on here really. Uh, digital downloads as well as um, hard goods and stuff. You just log in and again, you set up your own store and you could sell your stuff by yourself this way. And I really like that. So if you have merch and stuff, you could combine it all together with your music and sell it in a all in one store. Banzoogle is uh, it's a website designer. So if you're wanting to make a website, go to Banzoogle, but then they also have the option to build a music store in on your website. So you're able to sell your music through your website. And again, if you want to do it yourself, this is a way to do it. It enables you to sell right from your website. And if you don't even have a website, now you could create one here. Orpheum's a newer platform. It's kind of like uh, SoundCloud to me, but you're able to license your music and also sell it and stuff like that. I, so it's like a, a store slash streaming site, kind of like SoundCloud. So you could also just put your music up on here and stream it for everybody. You could have it for sale or you could license your music on here too. And they also collect, um, they, they go through YouTube and collect any kind of videos that are using your songs and it'll collect the royalties for you on that select music. So Orpheum's quickly becoming well-known. I know more and more people are becoming aware of this. I see it getting shared around on the Facebook and stuff more and more often, and they're really trying to push to be like, okay, you get in here, you could stream your music, you could sell your music, and you could also license your music, and we're going to search YouTube for your music and get you some royalties. So they're really trying to be an all-in-one for the, the music producer that wants to represent themselves. I'm on Orpheum. I haven't really made the full switch and um, pushing it, but again, it's something that's on my radar and I'm keeping track of and uploading my stuff on as you know it gets done. I really want to see Orpheum do really well. The last one I have is um, it was my Flash store, and this is what I used to use uh, when I sold beats and stuff as a producer. Uh, but no, they're Airbit now, and again, you could sell your music for like a dollar if you just want people to listen. It creates a little um, player for you so you can embed it on websites and stuff, and they, you could do all the purchases through that player. So it's kind of like a mobile web store. You could embed that anywhere. They could listen to your music. They could buy your music. They could license your music. 
and uh, it's free to get started, but then obviously you have to upgrade when you want to um, hit a certain limit. Again, with Gumroad, it's free, I think, for like 30 days or for like one product or something. And if you want to add more, you have to pay. Uh, the f TuneCore and Record Union, you have to pay. Banzoogle, you got to pay for your website and stuff. But most of them, just to get your music uploaded, is free besides TuneCore and Record Union because they're going to actual web stores and you have to pay for that. But if you're hosting it yourself, it's pretty much free for at least getting started or a trial, and then you have to upgrade later down the road. But you, these sites are more than enough to sell your music in any which way or form you would like to. So you just gotta think about it. If you wanna license it, Orpheum and Airbit, to me, are good options because they're kinda more towards the licensing music and stuff. Fanzoogle, if you want to have your own website and sell your own music personally through your website, that's a great option. As well as Gumroad, because you could put this on your website. And all of these you could embed on your website, besides, you know, like iTunes and stuff. But this store you could embed on your website. So if you don't want to make a website on Banzoogle and do it all through there, you can make a website on whatever you want and then add Gumroad to your website to create the store. And as well as Bandcamp, you can put the Bandcamp player in there and they'll be able to buy songs and stuff through your websites. Uh, and then if you want to get in on iTunes, Spotify, and all those digital stores that you'll see down here and stuff, TuneCore and Record Union are your options for that. It's the easiest way to get in on there. And it's for me, I believe Record Union was the cheapest and that's why I used it. Uh, for you, I highly suggest you just browse around and figure out which platform is going to serve you best as a music producer. And for me, these are my options I had and I did some research. I know there's many other ways to actually sell your music online, but these are reliable, trusted, and easy to use. And that's why I put them in this video, how to sell your music online. So if you're a music producer and you're wondering how to get going and creating your own brand and selling your music, this is how to do that. And I wish you guys the best of luck. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.